welcome back to Jen the Real Fluencer. If you happen to be new here on this channel, we do beauty, fashion, and real life stuff. And even though I'm a beauty and fashion channel, I don't have on beauty or fashion today because I'm just gonna be honest, I, did, I didn't I didn't feel like it. On my face today, I do have this Makeup Revolution soap brow type of product, and I also have this new First Day Beauty Nice 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 She and Wide. I did a very bad thing, and I haven't been to like TJ Maxx, Home Goods, all that stuff in a very long time. And I went in and I let the store tell me what to buy. Shame on me. Like in my video, my 10 shopping tips video, I went against my own rules. So this video, definitely a haul video. So stay here if you're here for the haul, but it's going to be vloggy in the sense that I'm going to go through everything I got. And then I'm actually going to like kind of try some of the stuff as well. A mix of home stuff here, as well as clothing, shoes, randoms. <laughs> So first things first, these pillows. I love these. I actually have a blanket already in my guest bedroom that is this print. So they were $20 each. Steve Madden shoes and they were clearance for 15 bucks and they are in that color that is just sings to my soul. I love these. I should say I love the look of these. I haven't tried them yet. So maybe I hate them. Maybe I hate them. I don't know. I actually got two of these champion kind of zip up, you know, whatever you want to call these. They're not hoodies, but track jackets. Yeah, track jackets. I think they were clearance. This black one was $15. I think the red one was the same. I love this style. I'm very much like, I don't know how to describe my style. I am, I have a very professional job. On the weekends, I would call myself almost like a chic tomboy it might be the best way to describe me. The black one is in a large and the red one is in a small. The reason for that is when I go into a purchase, I really try to think about how I'm gonna wear something. Kind of like what I taught in my eight unique ways to look uh, thinner video that I can link above. But the large one, I'll essentially wear zippered and the red one, I won't be able to zipper, but I will wear it open with like a cute undershirt underneath it. I love camo and I love crossbody. So I found this really cute Tommy Hilfiger. Wow. That was not necessary. Uh, $23, a cute crossbody bag. I really like the striping here, which obviously all of Tommy Hilfiger stuff has that. But again, it's kind of that vibe I like of being a cheeky chic tomboy. I got this little doodad here. So the whole idea is that when you're washing your hair, which I do approximately once every two months, take the shampoo and you're like giving yourself a scalp massage. So I'm super excited to try this. Four bucks. I got this Milani illuminating face powder. I believe it's more like a finishing powder. It was three bucks. I was excited. I probably only bought it because it was on sale. Well, not because it was on sale. It was at Marshall's, which means it's regular price on sale, you know. Um, again, going against, going against my own rules. What? Oh gosh. I need... Problems, got problems. I got a bunch of fake lashes. I generally, when I do film, if you've seen any of my other videos, if not, you can go see what I really look like with actual <laughs> makeup on. I usually wear like full glam when I do film my normal beauty fashion videos. So when you look at a false lash, it's really hard to tell, you know, what it's gonna look like. I really look for the kind that you can see some separation when you look at it. It just doesn't look good if I've got like a caterpillar on there. It looks great on some people. So that's what I personally look for. This is already affordable, but these were $4.99 for four, which is, what is that, $1.25 per. So that's pretty good. I mean, that's way better than like a CVS price. This brand I had never heard of, Kala, Kala. These were four bucks each, which is kind of spendy spendy for me, but I thought they looked really luxurious. So I thought I would give them a try. And I have a ton of loafers. That is not anything new. I liked the chain detail, but honestly, I love this vibe of having a white sole. I thought these would look really cute with like a dressy jeans outfit. You know, if it's Friday or if I'm not meeting with any clients or anything, like I can be more cashy cash. Adrian Vitadini. I probably butchered that. I am so sorry, Adrian, if you're listening to this video, which I mean, you probably are. So I do apologize. 15 buckaroonies. This definitely falls into the random category. 13 bucks. So my husband and I are boaters. It's a huge part of our life. I live in Pennsylvania and we spent a good chunk of our uh, spring into kind of early fall in Maryland where our boat is kept. We so. saw this, you know, we had to have it. It was one of those things. We're gonna put um, bread in it. So we're gonna start there and see, you know, where, 
where the current <laughs> takes us. I got these fun little organizers here. They're very affordable. The bigger ones here are six bucks. The smaller one was presumably less than six bucks. Oh, four bucks. Okay. Were these in the kitchen section? I think they were, but honestly, I want them for my bathroom. I want to organize some of my beauty products because I have a situation in there where stuff is like leaking and I don't want it to mess up the bottom of the drawer. So this is definitely something I'll try out in a second in the vloggy part of this uh, later if you wanna see how this worked out for me. But I needed something shallow. When you go to the beauty section for something like this, this would have been like $20. I mean, why? These, I must tell you, I don't remember what they cost. They were very affordable. We already started to use them. I love them so much. So what really drew me into these was this wood kind of handle here and it's so soft and like luxurious feeling what does this feel like squishy silicone matte finish that's the worst description i i do know they were definitely not more than like 12 bucks each i am such like a dork nerd bomber type of person i love notebooks i love planners i love being so silly and dorky and all these things like I love pens if you take me to Staples in the pen aisle I mean just forget about it like you're not gonna see me for at least 20 minutes <laughs> anyway they had a really cute planner there that was marble and honestly I got this because it was gray rose gold my beauty room over there that I normally film in is all white gray rose gold some pink touch of blue um well just to name all the colors of the rainbow there but uh <laughs> It says the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. So I, you know, I have a huge dream right now of starting the Real Fluencer movement. It's my passion and mission of life. And last, but I was about to say not least, but probably least, probably last, but least. <laughs> I got an apron and, you know, I got into cooking not that long ago. That's super embarrassing to admit given my age. However, uh, my husband's a good cook, so we rely on him. This was 10 bucks, and I wanted one of those aprons where I didn't feel fuddy-duddy, icky, stupid, whatever, because I'm truly not Betty Crocker. No disrespect. Love Betty. Um, love all of her things. <laughs> And my husband and I, we do HelloFresh. You know, when you don't have an apron, like I've ruined plenty of shirts because you know, you just get grease splattering back at you. I don't need to explain the reasons why you use an apron. I think you all know, but I just never really wanted one. It's almost like, oh, I'm not a mom, but it's like if you're a mom and you're like, I never said I was going to get a minivan and then you're like, dang it, I really need a minivan. I mean, I feel like that's how I was with aprons. So anyway, I was like, I'm, I don't need one. I'm cool. Like I'm too cool for an apron. And, and now I'm like, you know what? I'm not that cool. So I, I mean, I just think it's really cute. My goal is to always look totes adorbs. I mean, so that wraps up the haul portion. If you're interested in seeing some of these at work, definitely continue watching into the more vloggy style portion. is what the small one looks like. So as you can see, I mean, I can't zip it, but it looks totally fine open. And I would just know that anytime I wear this, I will wear it open. And this is the same one, uh, but just in a large. So this one, I will just wear zippered. Doesn't look terrible unzipped, probably because it's black. But if this was a different color, it probably would just look kind of big on me and not be flattering to be worn open, which is why I'd want to wear the small. Here is what the purse looks like. I just think it's so cute. And these stripes here, you actually can like stick your finger in. They're almost like those elastic. I am no Betty, but maybe I could be Jenny Crocker. What do you guys think? And I really love the, uh, the stitching on this. Let me flip this around. See that there? I just think it's really cute. Like from Mean Girls and they're like, I'm not like a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. I feel like that about this apron. It's like, it's not a regular apron. It's a cool apron for cool people. <laughs> These fit really good. These are really cute. I don't, it's almost like a rain boot kind of material. They're kind of almost squishy too, really comfortable. But note that these zippers on the side are actually fake. Got to be able to slip them on and off. I left my socks on because, you know, I'm lazy, but I would wear them without these socks. All right, I went the major extra mile here to take off my socks because that was just going to look ridiculous. And, you know, it took me probably at least four seconds. So, I mean, I have shoes that probably look, you know, maybe not exactly like this, but pretty similar. It is that white sole that got me. Yeah, I feel like I should be on like a yacht sailboat with these suckers. Okay, so this is the situation in the other bedroom that I was talking about. And this right here is the blanket that I said I think those pillows match. So let's see how they look. It's gonna be almost a double 
euro pillow type of situation and it might be too much so I don't know we're gonna see so my thoughts I love it normally I think this level of pillows might be too much but this is my guest bedroom so I'm just a sucker I mean I am is it practical it is not and shameless plug because you know I have to. If you happen to be interested in interior design by a real everyday person, but I am not an interior designer by trade, I do have another channel here on YouTube called Real Design Your Home. So this is really what we're working with here. When you lift this thing up here, even though this is not leaking, you can see that, you know, that ring. I got those shallow containers because I want to essentially line the bottom of this, maybe organize it a little bit better. I actually keep all my skincare over here. I'm sure I'll do a video on that sometime, so. But we are in my master bath here. If by chance you see anything that you wanna see more about, I actually just did do a video of how I basically did my bathroom with stuff from Amazon. better I know you can still see the rings there but when I touch it it doesn't feel like anything so we're gonna call that good enough let's see how these fit okay so we're definitely not gonna be able to fit two bummer So here we have the final situation. This These are my towels that I use to wash my face. I basically use a different one every day so that it doesn't ever carry over like bacteria and all that kind of stuff. And then I have a little trash can right over there. See that trash can next to the toilet? That's actually not really a trash can. And I put these and my reusable face wipes in so that way I just wash them and I have a place to put them to kind of build up a laundry. So I really like these. I was bummed that I couldn't use all of them, but thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Please subscribe before you go if you haven't yet and would like to see more beauty, fashion, and real life stuff. Please like the video if you did like it and found value. That actually does also tell YouTube to share it with other people. And I will see you soon. Now I have hair everywhere. That's great. Well, hashtag don't judge me. And shameless plug because you know. Blah, blah, blah.